Let's face it, you've all been there. You're riding along, you want to capture something interesting or dare I say dangerous on the bike and never had a means to do that. Today you do in the Cyclic Gen 3 Fly 6. This little camera is a light as well as a camera that captures pretty much everything you do in a ride that's five hours or less. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, first of all, this does not reflect an entirely new redesign from the company, but it does offer some unique changes. First of all, it has all the same functions as the previous version, but just in a smaller, more compact and brighter package. The functionality in this little unit is pretty simple. You just press one button and it chimes and powers up like this. With this light going, it means it's recording. Now, if you want to use a light, you can simply press the button again. And that is pretty bright. That's a solid light. You can go to change to blinking. As well as other different patterns. For when I'm riding during the day, I just keep it on like this. I try not to ride at night. And if I do, I tend to have it on the flashing feature as well. It's five hours with just this little circle light and four hours with the lights on. And then when you power it down, you hear that chime. The data is saved into a 30 gigabyte storage card and then you can upload that footage onto your computer if you need it but most of the time when i just ride uh, it erases itself over until you find something interesting you want to capture when it comes to weighing these on my scale the weight difference is not super noticeable but there is a difference the old fly is 110 grams now that's not a lot, but the brand new fly, which is a lot smaller in comparison, is only 78 grams on my scale, but 77 grams on their website. When it comes to the device's ports, it runs on a USB-C, as you can see here, and then it has the storage card right next to it. On the storage card, you can choose to upgrade that if you want to, but I've never have. I've always felt that 32 gigs is plenty of storage for my rides. On the old version, you have all the ports on the top part of the unit. It's still USB-C and still runs a 32 gig card. But again, it's not that noticeable. Now, this does come with several ways to fasten it. It comes with several straps and adapters. First, it comes with the standard one, which fits a standard seat post. You simply wrap it around the back of the seat post via Velcro, and an eighth of an inch turn, you can lock it in. It also comes with a longer strap for more aero seat posts. I tend to have both, so I switch back and forth between these straps. You also have adapters for aero seat posts, which you can see, and this just fastens to the back of the unit. And then once it's all in, it just clicks directly into place like that. You hear that snap. And then you can also, for added safety, attach a tether that goes around it if you don't want to lose it. But I've actually never used the tether before. I uh, have been lucky so far, so maybe I should. Coincidentally, the locking mechanism on the cyclic is the exact same as it is in the previous generation. So in theory, you could use newer mounts in case you lose them with the old one, which makes it great. Once it's in there, it snaps and locks into place. Also, I don't use it very often, save for a few software updates, but you can use an app on the App Store that you can fine tune some of the settings if you feel the need. But again, it's not something I would use regularly. Now, in terms of using this camera as footage or race footage or things like that, it can be done, although I wouldn't recommend it. You're much better off using a GoPro or something with a better image stabilization. 
This does have a recording capability of 1080p at 30 frames per second. So you can do it, but when I'm writing with the camera, I notice that the footage is really bumpy or shaky, and I want to avoid that. Also, the field of view is 135 degrees, so it's more for wide angles, and really, if you're riding along and you need to capture a license plate for some reason, this thing will come in handy. Now, let's take a look at some of the footage from both the current Gen 3 Fly 6 as well as the previous generation Fly 6. Both of it are practically identical, but again, the function relies as a dash cam, not a high def camera that you can use to edit videos with. In fact, Cyclic has a network where you can upload videos of near misses and hopefully the community can pick up on it. The idea is raising awareness and trying to hold people accountable. Here's some more of the interesting clips. This footage was shot with the current Gen 3 Fly 6. These motorcyclists were keeping their distance, but they were very, very noisy. Picks up some great audio, by the way, in this example. Next, we have a car that was going in the opposite lane, almost taking me out head on. Here a police officer pulls me over for allegedly rolling a stop sign at six miles an hour. I'm a real criminal. Here it was a massive pileup, a group ride. This is actually taken from a computer screen, so the resolution's not great. Bunch of people behind me and in front of me went down really hard. I was able to keep it upright, just skidding out and locking my rear wheel but lots of injuries that day. It was a terrible, terrible day. A horse trailer pinned me into the red curb here. I had to make contact with my shoes. And then in Oceanside, a pedestrian gave me a dirty look and started chasing after me. The fine folks at FedEx Decided to toy with me while I'm in the bike lane coming within inches. Jesus! Now, is this worth buying? Well, that depends on you. If you already have the previous generation Fly 6, I wouldn't necessarily think you would need this upgrade. Now, if you've never had one before and this is your first time, I would definitely go for it. It's really, really light, only 77 grams. Not to mention, it can provide a great deal of footage of something that you may unexpectedly need. And that little peace of mind is worth having. So, a lot of people are out there riding with cameras. What do you use? Do you wear a helmet cam, chest cam, or do you use one of these taillights? There's lots of other options out there. This is certainly my pick. Let us know what yours is in the comments. Until next time, stay safe, ride smart, and stay velo-worthy.